What's happening? Hello world and welcome to your 38th SQL Server tutorial. My name is Johnny DeLuca and today I'm going to be showing you how to update data in tables using the update statement. So, now that I've shown you how to put some data in your databases, now I'm going to teach you how to change that data just in case the incorrect values were inserted. SQL Server includes an update statement seen right here that you can use to modify one or several rows. You should be cautious when issuing an update statement as it's pretty unlikely that every row in a table needs updating. So always consider including a WHERE clause with every update statement. Because if you don't include a WHERE clause, you could accidentally update every row which could get you in big trouble, possibly fired. And you don't want that. So, this block of code here is going to show you, this is an example of how to update a single row. So go ahead and open your query editor and paste this code on in, or excuse me, I already pasted it in, you need to type it in, and then you can save it, you can modify it, paste it, copy it, whatever you need to do with it later, and go ahead and execute this, Let's see what we got, alright, one row affected, cool, um, this update statement uses an expression to append Europe to the name column for a single row in the department table. Um, so as a precaution, you should add an additional filter to the WHERE clause to ensure that the update statement is not repeatable. And so what I mean by this is, if the query was accidentally run twice, it would have no effect on the data. This is especially important when performing a concatenation, and if you don't know what concatenation means, it's like joining two strings of text together. So, when performing a concatenation or a mathematical change. Now I'm going to show you an example of how to accomplish that. So, let's go get rid of this now. And let's go grab another example I have laid out here. Right here. Alright. So... Okay, the new filter that uses like, right, ensures that if you return, or rerun, not return, rerun the query, it will have no effect on the data that would have previously updated. So, this is a good thing to note. Okay, so zero rows affected just as we anticipated. Now, I want to show you how to update rows while referencing multiple tables. You might encounter a situation where you need to reference additional tables when updating a row. The additional tables could be used to limit the rows that will be updated or they could provide a value that will be used in an expression as part of the update. Using the join clause, you can reference additional tables just as you do with the select statement. All right. So let's go grab that piece of code. And I'll show you that example. And here we go. Boom. Go ahead and take a minute and copy that down. And then go ahead and execute that. Okay, actually, before we move on to me showing you updating rows while referencing multiple tables, I never did show you exactly what was the uh, finished result from the update of a single row when we went ahead and we we executed this block of code and then but I didn't show it just said rows affected etc. I want to show you what 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 happened. So let me grab this block of code right here. Copy. Go back. Get rid of that guy. Paste in that guy. Execute that guy. Now pull this up. Alright. So, 
this update statement for the single row uses an expression, as I said before, to append Europe to the name column for a single row and department name, as you can see right here. So I just wanted to show you what happened. Okay, now we'll move on to updating rows while referencing multiple tables. So let's go back. Whoops. Let's go back down. Okay, four rows have been affected. Um, this preceding query that I just showed you right here uses the production.product subcategory table to limit the number of rows updated to only those that are included in the socks subcategory. The list price for each row that is in the subset is increased by 5%. So, now you know how to update rows while referencing multiple tables. And right off the bat in this tutorial, I showed you how to update a single row. And I made you aware that as a precaution, you should add an additional filter to the WHERE clause to ensure that the update statement is not repeatable. And so because if the query was accidentally run twice, it would have no effect on the data. And this is important, again, when performing a concatenation or mathematical change. And that was this block of code we ran here. All right. And again, something that you really want to take note of is the where clause. If the WHERE clause is not included, you could accidentally update every row, which could get you in a lot of trouble. So, thanks for stopping by and checking out this tutorial. I look forward to seeing you in my next tutorial, and I will be covering deleting data from tables. Alright, bye.